Welcome back in there to Blood Bowl 3 Season Finals. It's great to have you back with us again. Really appreciate you bearing with us ahead of this next matchup. Hero versus Call Troop. Fellas, humans versus dwarves. Massive, massive. I think we just drive jump straight into uh, the rosters of our teams. What do you say? Sound good? Yeah, yeah do let's it. do it. Let's do it. Uh, first up, let's see exactly who we're going to be looking at first in this matchup. Uh, Call Troop is going to be first the humans team here. Uh, do you want to take this one, Andy? Humans, yeah. walk us through. Yeah, so th this... He's actually going to be playing a skill down because he's got a tackle blitzer. The tackle doesn't do anything in this matchup at all. So that's already a little bit rough for him. He's got three guard, uh, which I think the, the, the Dwarves have got four. So it'll be interesting to see how he can get the Ogre to, to do stuff. Uh, and then I think the key to this matchup is actually going to attack the Mighty Blow Blitzer because if he can chip some Dwarves, especially if they're the, uh, the skilled Dwarves, he stands a chance. If he doesn't, he is going to get pulverized. It doesn't matter, he's got 13 <laughs> players on the roster. Um, I think he's got a, yeah, he's got an Apothecary and three rerolls. He's got to get work done with that mighty blow blitzer. He needs to not get stuck. He needs to get in, get out again, right? It's like a hit and run raid. In, in and out. out. In and out. Shake it all about. I mean, let's talk about dwarves as well, of course, here, because uh, they're a formidable force of the dwarves. You know all about this, Jimmy. Uh, as we take a look at Hero's lineup as well. We haven't actually seen Hero on the main broadcast at all the last two weekends. Uh, a kind of a debut uh, on the main broadcast here. Caltube, of course, used to being here, but walk us through the uh, the dwarves and tell us uh, why they are uh, a, a serious opponent for Caltube. I mean, yeah, they've, they've, he's done well as well, Hero. He uh, beat Smilzo, I think, in the first round. Lizardmen, very tough match. Uh, he only lost to Diamond, who's obviously amazing form with Orcs. Uh, he's only got four guard. He's gone for the mighty blow. Well, first of all, he's gone for two slayers. Very unusual two slayers. Give him one mighty blow. Um, with one runner, he has to give it block, pretty much, because, you know, if you if you lose the runner, you basically lose the game. And he's interestingly only gone one guard uh, um, on a blitzer. Like, normally you'd put both guard guard on both blitzers so i don't know if this is you know using as a secondary carrier backup carrier chance or i really don't understand why he hasn't put guard on the blitzer because generally people just want mobile mobile guard. i guess because i guess because he wants the the tackle is in the fight i guess that's what it is the block is in the fight Indeed. Now, it's going to be interesting here because I think Hero as well, I think most most of his matchups have been like 1 0 victories yeah, as yeah. it stands. So I guess, is it kind of like that's, is that kind of common ground for the dwarves? Is that kind of like a, a usual kind of scoreline for, for a team of, of their kind of makeup, if you will? Yeah, I think so. So dwarves typically will want to try and they'll score on their offense, right? Everyone's expected to score on their offense over eight turns. But then the dwarves, they, the reason they're winning 1 0 is they're stopping someone, they're stopping you, Adam, but they're not managing to convert round and then get that, that, that score in because they're so slow. And also, Hiru's roster specifically only has one runner. There's a good chance that runner's not in the right place or can't get to the ball uh, when, he's, when he eventually stops you. So that's why. Okay, okay. Because, I mean, obviously, in the next round as well, Anarion, if I'm not mistaken, is ready and waiting to play the victor of this match. The loser will go out of the competition. So we started with six players today. We're now down to four, soon to be three, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this, well, that would, yeah. Yes. Maths is correct. That, thank you, thank you. Should never do maths on broadcast ever. It's a big mistake waiting to happen. Um, but of course, uh, it's all to play. I mean, who would Anaron do you think want in the want in the next round? Do you think who would be the kind of the preferred opponent, uh, give or take, being humans or dwarves? Do you mean? Oh, it's interesting. I mean, I think Blackhawks actually match up pretty well versus dwarves, but I think he wouldn't be scared of the humans either. Really, I think I think Anaron is going to be pretty confident whoever he faces. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, here we're ready to rock and roll. About to dump into this next match again. Let us know in the chat who you think is going to be the winner of this lower bracket semi-final. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really getting through these brackets now. I'm understanding the, 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 the ins and outs. Uh, let us know who you think is going to be the winner, Hiru or Call Trooper. For now, we're going to dive into the action again. Uh, well, I think we're actually we're loading. Okay, we're loading. We're loading. Get ready. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. I mean, all this is it. I'm just blown away. Oh. We, keep, we keep commenting on how cool this all looks. Right, and they're only seeing half of it because we can see the other half of the studio. <laughs> there's there's like another six or seven desks over there. You could have put something. There's a screen. I don't even know how big that screen is like. 150 inch screen it's yeah. bonkers this this is absolutely insane but you know one thing we talked about it last week where is our our 80s kind of like underground layer that's the one where, where, where the stuff we probably were promised <laughs> honestly unbelievable unbelievable stuff we were promised that jimmy we were yeah promised that. We're, we are missing the layer <laughs> we're missing the layer one day one day that's the, that's the next iteration of this uh but uh for you guys so i hope you've enjoyed this uh fantastic uh setup thus far here for blood bowl three season finals we're going to dive in now to hero versus call troop who will be the winner let's find out it's joining again uh jimmy and andy as we get ready for turn number one very shortly yeah it looks like hero's won the toss and he's uh deciding whether to kick or receive. I mean, he hasn't automatically chosen receive yet, which is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I, I uh, receive. <laughs> he has yeah. chosen receive. There we go. <laughs> good, 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 good. 
Yeah, very interesting to see Cole Troop yet again. We saw him three times in the opening weekend. And, uh, you know, he's battled through, hasn't he, against, against all, not all odds, but uh, he certainly, you know, humans are very rarely anyone's pick, right? They're, they're not terrible, but they've, they've got it. They seem to always have to do it the hard way, don't they? The other, the other yeah. teams have, like, a, a big a big selling point, and humans don't. <laughs> yeah, humans, you, you, it's, like, it's like your fifth pick. If you were ever looking at a roster, you're like, well, I could, but there's always something better. Um, but he's gone and set back miles again, yeah. which is bizarre. I, I, I'd love to know what his thinking is on this. Um, before we go further, right, what about your predictions? So, um, so we can get it on record. What do you, who do you think is not going to win? Sorry, he's going to win this round. Dwarves, obviously, Hiru. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go uh, with Core Troops Humans. Uh, chat, who do you guys think is going to win? I mean, the thing is, you know, like in, in this one, it's, it's, I'm not, the weird thing is, I'm not that big a fan of Hiru's roster, but it's still Dwarves, and I, I'd still fancy, like, I think if everything goes as it should, you know, I think yeah. the default assumption is, is the Dwarves. But it's not by much. And, you know, with Blood Bowl, things can easily not go as they should or whatever. And, uh, you know, the humans can make things happen. And Cold Troop definitely can. He's, he, somehow he just makes the plays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Vicar I reckons we might want to put the skill rings on. Uh, possibly. Possibly. Uh, it's interesting. The chat are actually saying humans, 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 humans. Uh, we've not really had one person that thinks the dwarves are going to win here. Well... They're all wrong, right, Jim? Ch chat, uh, chat aren't always right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, for the skill rings to see, like, you know, so you can pick out the players, I guess. Uh, blitzers are here for the dwarves. Obviously, the troll slayers, you Ooh. can tell. Oh, get the ref. Who was it? Bo uh, they both get one, don't they? Oh, yeah, get the ref. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I was completely wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you've got the catcher there, the thrower there, and uh, obviously Ooh. the blitzers. I'm not sure I feel the thrower on my defense here. Because cause I'd be quite happy as a human to just not concede. He has block, though, so... Oh, yeah. That's the thing. When you've, when, you've, when you've put a skill on him, you've kind of got to field him, right? Yeah. That, that's the problem. Whereas we saw somebody fielding a, a thrower. Oh, what was it? A thrower or something? I remember seeing a player, and I thought, I wouldn't field this player on defense. It was, wasn't it hit? I was thinking it was Hero, but we haven't watched him. But it, they had one. They had one runner, and they fielded it. No, it was a throw. It was a throw. Diamed fielding the throw on defense because it's just worse than alignment, uh, isn't yeah. it? On yeah, defense, it's... the thrower is worse than alignment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's one of the rare situations of a positional being being essentially um, worse. Yeah, essentially worse. But but you know, when he fielded it on defense uh, against Strider, it made the pickup, didn't it, with your hands? Yeah. So. Oh Ooh. wow! Instant cars. Which might get punched back because he's had to step forward because of frenzy. No apothecary there, surely. No, he can't. He can't. He's got two reserves. Um, interestingly, because he'd made all of these safe moves first, he couldn't then screen it with, uh, you know, rookie longbeards, which is what you'd like to do when you're making a LOS block with the Slayer. Yeah. Has he benched the other Slayer? Yeah. So yeah, I, it's it's a it's a strange build, right? It 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 just is a strange build. Yeah, and he's hung that Slayer. Oh, there we go. I was about to say he's hung the Slayer completely out to dry, but yeah, you can't leave the 3D from the Ogre, can you? No. <laughs> yeah, at least he had to reinforce a bit. <clears throat> See, would you take the 3D here with the Ogre now, or would you take 2D guaranteed with Mighty Blow and slamming some Guard in? I mean, there isn't really a 3D anymore, is there? Well, you could put some Guard in, and if if you've gone with the Ogre. Then you taking the hit back. I think I would just pick off an outside guy. Yeah, I'd, I'd pick off one of the outside guys. Not give the hit back. I, I really don't want to give the dwarves hits. Would, yeah. be, would be my take. Yeah, it's, it's fair. I think I think it's, it's it's sort of what do you prefer? I I don't like taking attrition as the humans here because actually the best case scenario is you just stop them, isn't it? But, and, and I don't want to give away a hit on my guard piece either. Like that. I definitely don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. But he, you know, he wants the hit on the Slayer, and you know, he's probably got to get lucky to win, so he's trying. <laughs> but by trying, this Guarder is going to get hit either by Mighty Blow or by the Blitzer. I, I would spend a turn using the Mighty Blow here. 
because uh, uh, getting rid of that guard is huge. Mm. Unless unless you want to go and you know take the position and push down against the tackler with mighty blow. I, I would definitely want field position. Dwarves are slow. They're so slow. They need to penetrate into the opposing half. I would I would 100% be looking to uh, push forward as far as possible. Every opportunity. So you're taking the tackle. Bl you're blitzing the tackle here. Yeah. Hmm. Or, or a lineman. You know, you don't have to blitz with a mighty blow. You could blitz this lineman up here and push over there. Yeah. Yeah, positionally, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so no follow. So he's either going to take the mighty blow blitz or he's going to take the lineman. I think, I think he'll probably go mighty blow. <laughs> yeah. It's hard not to. And you've already got some guys over that side, so you, you're naturally going that way anyway. No, he's not. He's just going forward, blitzing the guard again. Interesting. Hmm. I, I I don't like giving away blit, uh, hits either. Like this is this is how the dwarves get stopped, isn't it? They get the momentum capped because they can't. They just get knocked over. Then they spend a turn standing up rather than pushing forwards again. Yeah. This is interesting. Both coaches are not doing what we would have expected. Yeah. Adam. What are we doing here? This is this is strange. They're not they're not behaving as expected. No, but my, my nostrils are because I smell I smell food in the building. I've, oh, I've suddenly been like oh, I, well. I know I've been kind of, I've been <laughs> captivated by some kind of smell of I don't know what it is. Very, well, I'm very weird at that. Kind of I go what what's that what's that smell? Well, I can right. tell you what it's not. It's not chicken. It's can, not that. No, I can tell. I, I can I can tell you spicy chicken a mile away. And it's that's, not that's Andy Davo's uh, special skill is determining meats by their smell <laughs> from a distance. That's his thing. Yeah, Andy meets smeller Davo. Yeah. It's got a real ring to it. <laughs> oh gosh, it's not going to stick, is it? It's not going to stick. I don't want that one oh, to stick. Oh, I'm thinking mine. I'm here thinking comes the meat smeller. Here he is. Malahans and meat uh, smeller. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh dub skulls. Oh. Right, thank God for that. Right, back to the game again, yeah. everyone. Um, <laughs> we'll not be smelling anything here. <laughs> Dave with a meat sniffer. That's done a different direction. Oh my goodness. Um, but no, I think, I mean, do we, yeah, we're talking about kind of Hero not being on, on the, you know, kind of on the, on the broadcast yet. And we've seen Caltry a few times now, but. Um, I mean, experience-wise, are well, playing an important factor here. Caltrup has had to go through that kind of lower bracket um, side of the competition and play more games. Ultimately, is that does that? I mean, obviously, all our players have played a, a, a many games, but do you think that's that's helped in any way? How kind of playing against these top-tier players and having more, you know, having to go through the grind of the lower brackets uh, up to this point versus kind of like going through quite simply on the on the winner side. I think it's maybe maybe like particularly in this particular case, yeah. Like maybe it's mentally, you know, at the moment it might be it might be a little booster call troop, maybe. Yeah, I, I'd say so. But Hiru's very experienced in tournaments, won plenty of tournaments himself. So yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're both very mean. <laughs> you're just seen, oh, I've just seen. I've just seen. <laughs> Oh, you guys are unbelievable. Meat shower, uh, Davo. Meat shower. Meat sweat, Davo. <laughs> Andy the meat shower, Davo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Amazing. So oh, I, so fantastic. I, I now get trolled on someone else's stream. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new level. Well, thanks very much. I think someone in chat was asking earlier on, Andy, how many snacks you have hidden behind the screens <laughs> on in here as well. No, uh, I'm not allowed any. Next to Jimmy's they broccoli melt. and rice. What's that? They melt. They melt, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Goodness. Surf on here, isn't there, Andy? Surf the ogre. Oh, look at that juicy surf. <laughs> but, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's the play, right? Yeah, I think you just what? smash in here where all this guard is. Try and win the fight in the centre. Wait a second, the surf is not the play? No, yeah, sorry, sorry, Andy. Sometimes you have to, like, you know, win the game a little bit. <laughs> Especially with dwarves, they just they just have to get forward. That you know, like the whole thing is they're so slow, and you just have to be going forward all the time. And that, you know, every every team does to an extent. You know, even orcs, even orcs yeah. have to be have to be mashing forward, and uh, the dwarves really really have to get forward here. A dwarves a team as well, but if they if they are comparatively to other races, if they are kind of separated from their packs, are they kind of far more vulnerable than others? Do you think? 
there's not necessarily element of that. Yeah, yeah, there's an element of that with the guards. Ooh. You know, guards is stronger together. Oh, Ooh. wow. So he rolled a one. I mean, he could have just brought in the extra assist, couldn't yeah, he? Yeah, there's no reason for that. Yeah. The, the follow-up hit, fair enough, but the, the, the initial hit could have had an extra assist. Um, he's, he's got a gap around the, the, the left-hand flank here, right? There's a lineman's going to punch uh, the guard um, Longbeard. Yeah. And then does that open up the thrower to get... Oh, he's close. Oh, I see. He's yeah, fixing he's it. closed it, yeah. Um, yeah, there certainly is an element of... I mean, they haven't got that much guard on this team. Only four. I, I went with five. Um, oh, you could bribe. have gone with six guard. Oh, wow, he's fouling. He's got a bribe. He's got a bribe. Oh, he's got the bribe. He's got the bribe. <laughs> six goal saved him. Literally six goal saved him. Does he argue? No, he uses the bribe first. I'm arguing that. Because... So what if it fails? So what? Yeah, because, it, it's, because it's the turnover. Turn yeah. it's, it was your last action, so that yeah. like, it's strictly it was strictly worse to use the. Not not strictly worse. If you use if you use the bribe directly, you've got less chance of getting sent off. So uh, there is that. There. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're independent actions. It's 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 tricky to to call it. Yeah. Well, like that. That's the thing. So, but there, there is the argument of oh wow, he could have chained something there, couldn't he? I mean, he's chained him off. Maybe that was the right thing, but maybe he could have chained forward. Yeah, I'm changing the ogre. I'm changing the ogre forward because the bribe is gone now. He's not going to do it again. And then I'm having a hit on the slayer. And then we just go punch, 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 punch. And, and suddenly the dwarves are, are, are in big trouble. Yeah. He mustn't give away hits to dwarves. No. And, and if, I'm, if I'm the humans here, I want to try and keep the two guard blitzes out of the fight. Yeah, it's all about the guards, isn't it? Well, it's about forward, like forward movement, and guard utility, and uh, yeah. it's not great for Hiru right now. You know, obviously one stun, but the other three are pretty separate. So, but it's it's bad. It's good and bad, right? It's by splitting the guard, you guarantee one of you know getting use out of it, but like you don't get to power through a particular section. It's 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 a, it's tough. You know, dwarves dwarves get a. Oh, I thought he was stunned. Okay, he wasn't. <laughs> Dwarves get a lot of stick for, like, you know, being easy and brainless and stupid and all this stuff, but it's not, you know, it is tricky. Like, um, it's it's hard for them to score a lot of the time. Like, it's turn four. This drive hasn't, you know, had any real adversity. You know, nothing crazy's happened, and yet, he, in fact, he's outbashed the opposition. He's made a removal, hasn't taken anything, mm. and yet he's still in his own half. Like, you know, maybe he should have grabbed that space up, up the flank. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. I think you were right. I think you've got to take the space. I, I would rather score, get, get, get into turn six, and then try and fight for my life and not score than I would be stuck here on turn six, literally not being able to score. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the, it's, the, it's hard versus good players, right? Good players doing the right things, limited skills, different in ladder where, you, you know, you could have 10 guard on your dwarf team versus the same kind of, like, you know, teams, yeah. you, could, you can outskill people heavily in, in term, number of skills for TV dwarves. But um, in this where you just don't have that much of a guard advantage, it's uh, it's very tricky indeed. Ooh, he's going to take the space. Mm. Not a lot of uh, protection for the ball, is there? Because there's a lot of contact here. Yeah, you would think there's some sort of clever chain push. I mean, the ogre can be kind of chain pushed out here. Um, it I mean, directly chain pushed out. <laughs> yeah. On into and, it, a, and it still can be chain pushed out. I imagine, like yeah. pop, pop it, pop it, pop it straight south first. Um, can you? Oh no, no, you, you there's, there's too many. There's two squares of empty gap. Well, I mean, he could he could still like blitz the troll slayer with it, right? You could you could easily just block it out. Here. I guess it's the guard the guard protects. Yeah. That a bit, but I guess you just take hits here. Yeah, I'll, ta ta I'll take all the hits. Stop the dwarf drive. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, just stand him up for the guard assists. And uh, yeah, I mean there could be like what three, four, five dwarves down here maybe. Yeah. And there'll be heroes five, and heroes five is spent standing up. <laughs> yeah. That guard's super isolated. Ooh, that's pretty big. So yeah, seeing about you know if dwarves were split up, I mean what 
it doesn't matter so much if like one of the rookie guys is split up but when when one of your guard is, is over here it's just so bad you know like it's so much stronger if that if that guard was over here with yeah. the other guarders yeah the worst thing you can have sometimes is a guard blitz yeah blitz are just isolated on alignment millions of miles from the play and that's effectively what he's got there yep reroll yeah it has to reroll that down to one now call true And then the thrower does the blitz, pushes the chains, uh, troll slayer back, and then you can, you know, you, you don't leave it, almost anything back in contact. Yeah. Problem that you have is you haven't got much in front of the ball either, have you? No. I guess the thrower blitzes the guard. Yeah, I think thrower blitzes guard now. Yeah. Hmm. Chain off the guard. Oh, he's gone that way. Yeah, keep him. Yeah, keep, keep him right on. more on the ogres. Pretty decent, and he can come over a bit to protect. Yeah. There is a surf possibility here. The tackle blitzer is at yeah. risk. At risk. He's in danger. <laughs> Doesn't make that hit in the end. That's that's interesting, isn't it? I would have definitely blocked this guy and then like. That was a bit interesting turn order. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> then don't follow this up. No, oh, follow it up. Follow it up. Yeah, I'm. No, I'd follow that up. And then, if you put the guard in, or you put an assist in, where he's going to presumably be pushing to the side sideline, you could then have served. It was a little bit tricky, though, right? Getting the assist in was was Harder. difficult. Yeah. Whereas now, by doing the block first, gets further forward. Which is what you really want. Turn five. Do. Oh. Oh. One reroll left. I think he's going to slay a ogre here, but that's going to leave the ball a bit exposed. Yeah, only and he one. hasn't stood the guard up on the on the side. Yeah, only one reroll. Like we, we, now, if with two rerolls, maybe at the you know if this turn goes well at the end of the turn, you GFI to put him in. But even then, you could argue that's not a good idea, so he probably should have just stood up and either gone in or not gone in yeah. straight away. He's got to use the Slayer for coverage. Yeah, I don't see where the Blitz is coming. And and actually, he's going to have he's still going to have a gap where those three linemen are where we just seen the blocker go in. There's a gap around the corner. He's, he's, got, he's got a problem here. Yep. Yeah. Despite being a player up and like, you know, having a, a three versus two situation, the problem with this three versus two is one block can free two, isn't it? So yeah. it looks like a, a two for three, but it's more like a two for one. <laughs> yeah. Which is not good at all for, for Hiru. Yep, he's got himself into a bit of a pickle here. Blitzing the ogre, maybe? It, it's tricky because he blitz the ogre. He's got, yeah, he's committed, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, go, go around the bottom is the best way. And if it had been a power, he would have got the assist on the next block. But this uh -oh. is uh, very dodgy. I mean, very dodgy. If, if this block is a power. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a disguise here as well. Is that the thrower or the catcher there that's on the. This is the thrower. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's what? about a million ways to sack the ball right now. <laughs> yeah, I, you start with this three for two you just pointed out a minute ago. Because if that works, you've got two players, and it's not even tricky, is it, right? Lightman no. runs and Blitzer throws Blitz, Thrower picks up ball. Yeah. GG's are said all over the place. I mean, you could even run the catcher through this through this hole as well. Yeah. So you can actually not only pick it up with a throw, you can pick it up and then pass it to a guy who's outdistant the rest of the draws. I mean, this could be a game-winning turn for Coltrude. Yeah, depending on how the dice and, and in fact, you're going to get two shots at hitting this because the first player can throw the block, the lineman then can throw the block because the thrower can get round or the catcher can get round, right? You, yep. So long as as long as it goes down in four dice, mm. there's two on the ball. Yep, this is very, very dangerous for Hiru right now. Mm. How did he get himself into this situation? What? Oh, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, 
I, I, I am unsure. <laughs> I mean that's call trip for you. <laughs> he's he's rolling the dice. I, 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 look, he's humans. He's got to get lucky to win. Okay, well there you go. That's lucky. Yep. Don't follow. Lineman, is it a go for it to get round in the line? I think maybe it's it's assist with the blitzer. Blitzer because he goes in the, the hole. Yeah, yeah. You, you get guard in there instead of having to move the the lineman all the way to here. Yeah. It's just a lot easier to do it this with it with a human. And plus he's got block. So it's not really advantageous to blitz with a blitzer anyway. So it's double go for it, isn't it? One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, yeah double go. And there, is there any advantage to using the thrower? Oh, he's using the thrower. Oh. I'd say not really, because I think I'd rather recover with a thrower. But I guess this is a better one for the catcher, right? This is a better recovery for the catcher. Yeah. And I guess you get to cover with a... Yeah, it's easier for the lineman to cover this. This is maybe better. Oh, my God, wow. what a scatter. And then the catcher is now going to sc screen this, isn't it? So lineman picks it up, and catcher comes through, and you move the catcher through first. Wow! 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 Can the catch actually? Can the catcher get there? Because if the catcher can get it, I'd rather have it on blodge, yeah, even it's though it's strength too. To double, be a double GFI for the catcher to get to here. Yeah, I, I want the ball on the blodge. Yeah. It's in all his rerolls if he has to, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. I would have just gone here. Well, he's... Wow. Six and two threes, but... <laughs> I mean, devastated, isn't it? Four, four, five dwarves on the ground. And yeah, yeah Hiru's probably just thinking, what the hell happened? <laughs> well, you said that was a that was a, the, the round of rounds for Call Troop in this, and he we managed to capitalize on the opportunity yeah. presented itself. So, and the ball fell so nicely, and it was just... Play, the, the game in gods was shining down on yeah. the humans right there and then. Yeah. And you know, like... That was actually a great, great push direction, right? If he, if he, if he did blitz with a human, as Andy and I kind of wanted to, then it takes it further away from the catcher, and it makes it easier for the dwarves to react. I mean, it's still hard for them to react, <laughs> like they've got <laughs> nothing free at all. But I guess you know, maybe, maybe that was a good direction he went for. I mean, they can't react any direction, can they? No. They are. Toast. They are toast. Toast. Yes. <laughs> I can they smell are toast, toast, actually. This is. This is more than a bit of a pickle. This is... Yeah. Shamba reckons there might be a way to... Ch is, is there a way to change something on the ball? No. 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 Toast is one of the few meals you could have at any... Wait, what? Toast is a meal? Toast, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you could you could justify toast as being your meal. One of the few things. Do you not think so? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I... You strike me as a... Ah. Oh, here we go. Ah. Plain... No, uh, you you don't even eat toast, Andy. No, you don't it's, eat toast. I read the chat. You're not you're not allowed to talk about toast with me. Why not? <laughs> Was there a uh, toast incident? Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Well, no, that's not true. That is. I don't... do. I microwave toast. What? Oh, Jesus. Wait. <laughs> well, oh. only, what? Wait, do, only... What do you? It's like what wet bread. <laughs> is that what it tastes like? Wet, like mic you microwave toast. Moist, moist bread, right. Dave. No, no, no. So, so, the, so there's bread. So there's a bit more to it, right? It's, it's, it's less crazy than you might initially think. Okay. So, so I mean, I, I very much doubt that. <laughs> I, can, I can understand if you've toasted the bread, then you put like some cheese on it, then yeah. bung it in the microwave. Yeah, uh, right, yeah. right. I get that. Yeah. Okay. So, it, you, you, you can take a piece of bread, a couple of slices of bread, because it's me. Uh, slam them in the toaster. Toast the bread. It comes out toasted. And then what you do, you go and you put butter on it, and the butter brings the temperature of the bread down again. So now you've got warm bread <laughs> at best, right? At best, warm. I, wi I wish and you could all see Adam's face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix between confusion and disgust. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bit, right, God. Yeah. So you put the, you so you put butter on to cool the bread no, no, no. down from the toaster. No, I don't cool it down. I'm like a, it's it's passively cooled by the butter, isn't it? Right? Because it's come out of the it's come out of the fridge, right? So it's cold. He microwaves it to counteract the passive cooling. Yeah. So then, then then you put your choice of topping on, right? Whether that's soft cheese, which is pretty good, or or jam, or or or, or, or hard cheese, or whatever, right? Yeah. And at that point, that now you've got cold toast, right? Um, and, 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 and to be fair, you've got to think, we live in the real world. Sometimes you've gone off and made your cup of tea and you've come back and you're like, oh, oh dear, that's now cold. So I then slam it in the microwave for nine seconds and it comes out and it's delicious. 
<laughs> right, we're going to have words after this. Uh, I, I don't, I don't what, trust you right, Do you want me to write it down and explain how to do it? <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary. <laughs> On the contrary, my friend. Yeah. Wow. So, a little bit interesting here. <laughs> He's got the option to double GFI to try and blitz him free, but these neither of these guys have tackle, so he could just straight just up dodge. Away. But it's, an, it's a one in nine, right? So it's, it's not not ideal. Neither solution is ideal with one team reroll. Um, I'm leaning towards the double GFI blitz because you can always back out of the blitz, right? Yeah. Or the, the other option is um, that he could just try and use the yeah the ball carrier to just block away for a turn, like go nowhere. I think that's dangerous as a tackler here. I don't see how. Oh yeah, no, no. Errata. <laughs> errata, errata. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy, Andy is a culinary disaster. A hundreds have tried to teach him, all have failed. That's not true. It's, it's not. Oh god, it makes the dodge. Yeah, wow. it's good. So yeah, wow. there's quite a lot of things you, you'll learn about me over the course of several. Oh, I'm learning. Months. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning, mate. Um, I, I just find it very. I did. I never thought temperature would come into that. I'm really surprised by that. Yeah. Like the butter's a cooling method. It's very. It's very surreal. To me. Um, yeah, you're what's welcome. your vibe on peanut butter? No, 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 no. I was no. going to say crunchy no. or smooth. You're just no across Absolutely the board. Absolutely not. Oh you my animal. Goodness. Animal. <laughs> it's one of the major food groups. <laughs> It's not, and he's throwing in the bin and destroying you know, safely, disposing of safely. It's <laughs> gracious, me. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, a bad injury. Oh wow! It's the Slayer. Huge. Yeah. Badly it's the hurt. Slayer. So he puts in the apple. Yeah. Auto apple on a badly hurt there. Wow, what a bad half for Hiru. I mean, he's lost the ball. This is guaranteed, guaranteed score, right? Yeah. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. Turn seven. He might do it. Turn seven. Uh, but then he does give up the uh, extra LOS hits. Dwar dwarfs just don't have the skill set to one turn. Is that, no, is that no. Yeah, yeah, no chance. Te it's technically possible, but first of all, it's so it's so unlikely people don't bother to learn how yeah, to do yeah. it. And second of all, it's only possible if people set up in the worst possible setup against it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's so unlikely as to say impossible, basically. But you know, I guess if if. Uh, if there was millions on the line and we had a Magnus Carlsen of Blood Bowl, I guess he would, you know, he would, he would have it down pretty, uh, pretty well. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's really really low odds. Like the, the dice just make it crazy. Yeah. Because you have to push, you have to chain push someone forward so many times, and you frequently have to hit that player multiple, uh, each player multiple times. So therefore. Yeah, you're only 55% to get any individual push. Mm -hmm. Now you need four of them in a row, five of them in a row. So it's like coin flip, coin flip, coin flip, coin flip, coin flip. Um, and there's nothing you can do to enhance the odds. It's not even five either, right? Because you have to push forward other Eight players, players. Yeah. and then push forward <laughs> the, guy, the, the guys who are pushing the other guy forward. So it's pretty ridiculous. Oof, double skills. Yeah, he had to re-roll that as well, because if he doesn't re-roll that, then he doesn't get to pressure the score, whereas at least now he gets to pressure the score. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh no, he maybe he doesn't. <gasps> he knocks oh, out his runner. Oh, no. Well, that's it. That's one. So that runner's over, yeah, now yeah. got one. Two. Uh, four, two. Yeah, he's out. He's out. He's completely in the clear. That gets him the, that gets Call Troop the, the stall. And one step forward. Call Troop's going to foul something. He's got a bribe. Yeah. Wow. Could, could this have gone I'd, any I'd worse? I'd save the bribe. Oh, he, Gosh. Yeah, he's not using the bribe, right? He can just make a foul. He's, he's got two bench, so he just makes a foul. Makes a foul. Oh, yeah, you don't, yeah you, you, you don't use it no matter what. Yeah. What but a half. I'll tell you what I do move is the, the ball into yes, the somewhere ball. safe. <laughs> the ball should have moved forward uh, long ago. It just needs to go one square forward. Definitely stall out until the end of the half. There's a KO. It's on a runner. You have to move this one square. You are definitely not scoring. There we go. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Call Troop, for listening. <laughs> but could you leave chat? Thank you. <laughs> wow, I mean, Hiru, I mean, the second half on the on the defense as well. I mean, how, how, does, how does this play out for Hiru now? What could possibly be done? It's, it's really hard because now the humans can score any turn. So, you know, he's got to protect against the quick score and protect against the, the slow score at the same time. Super difficult, and humans do have the movement, so mm. it's, it's, good. it's a, big, a big ask. A lot of it will come down to whether this runner even comes back, right? He could, he could be having to do it without the runner, which it's not too bad. He's got 12 players, but still, you, 
still rather have that runner right movement six as your fastest player. Um, I, I don't even know. How, I, I mean, I know how. You've just got to hope. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've got you've got to play your best and hope it works out. That's all you can do. That's it. Yeah, very hard. I mean, what's Hero's plan of action now to try and just kind of injure, hurt, yeah. knock out as many players as possible? Yeah, I guess so. I, I would be very, con yeah, I'd, I'd be fouling something, I think. Because because I'm already currently going out of the uh, the mm -hmm. championship, right? So if I'm, if I'm on a trajectory of, oh dear, this is going to go horribly wrong, I need to do something to give me some yeah, throw off an edge. Great, mm. great yeah. target, yeah. Foul fouling yeah. that throw off, 100%. Yeah, not, I think that's what he's going to do here. Yeah. Throw actually really matters for the quick score, right? With uh, sure hands and pass, it actually really matters for the quick score. Yeah. So he's actually uh, he's put that guy in the wrong square, right? He could have gone there, and that would have got him an extra assist. Right, he's he going to go in with it. Shuffle. Rocky. He can shuffle around. So here we go. Big foul. Coltwood's got the apple, though, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. And there's no bribe here. And no effect. Okay. Uh... If, if I can three dice, I'm going to mighty blow three dice. If I can't, I'm scoring. Because because I'm, I'm already so far ahead. <laughs> I think he could have he could have three dice. Yeah, he definitely yeah, could I have three dice. Yeah. But fair enough, right? Fair <coughs> enough. Not not mm -hmm. taking the one in whatever it is, forty six thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if it was the one in forty six thousand chance. <laughs> Gosh, imagine that. I mean, I mean, what a half though from from Caltube as well. Yeah. I mean, what a half. Incredible. I mean, I shouldn't have bet against him, should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, 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 it is one of the halves, though. Like we've watched. The, this is our third game today. We watched the first two games, and the first game we were just astounded, like quite how well they both played all the way through. Yeah. And by well, what we mean is they did exactly what we told them to do. Right. Yes, they listened. In, yeah, they listened. Yeah. Yep. Right. Second game, Enarian got it right in the very beginning. His turn seven was was a bit shaky, very shaky. And then the second half was just, he was so far out, there was nothing that could be done. Mm -hmm. And then this game, we've both said, "What? wait, what? Why has that happened? Why, why are you doing that? And and, and on multiple places. So I, it's interesting to see, oh, were we right? Or did they play suboptimally? Yeah. I mean, we, we let's, cast, let's cast our minds to the future. Let's say things stay the way they stay. Inarion in the next round takes on Cal Troop. Um... What's the where where does the the scale lean in terms of advantage there? <laughs> I'd say to Inarion, but seeing as I seem to be wrong every single time. <laughs> no, no, today you're right once. Yeah, you have one right today, Jimmy. One right today. <laughs> the tables are turning. Yeah, I, I, I think both matchups favour Inarion. I, I'm betting on Inarion now to uh, mm. to win the the final match today. Okay. Yeah, and and Inarion's got a major advantage, which is he's not playing in this game. <laughs> yes. So he's going to come in a lot fresher. So that's true. That's true. I, I think I think the the smart money would be on Inarion. Uh I could see Cool Troops doing it. I'm I'm not sure about Hero. Well, right now Hero is desperately to to score to yeah. turn into an overtime, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Jinxy fantastic. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Jinxy fantastic. <laughs> I'd rather be Jinxy Fantastic than Meat Smeller. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought it was Meat Shower. Yeah. Andy the Meat Shower Davo. <laughs> They're all pretty bad, right? It's not like Anything I'm picking... with meat in it is definitely <laughs> not great. Are you, do you microwave tea? Ah. Right, so on that uh, point... I mean, there's not even a yes or no, it's just there's a story. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, here we go. <laughs> so, not necessarily. <laughs> Um, and one, once I had to put it in the freezer to cool it down. Mate, that is lunacy. You put a cup of tea in the freezer because yeah. it was a bit hot. Yeah. Just leave it out for five minutes. No, 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 that's a true story. True story. I, I, I had to go and put it in the freezer. And the, and the reason was that <laughs> Jimmy's oh, I can't. actually dead. I don't I'm know afraid there's no one on camera I right now. This, 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 I don't know what this is. Go on. <laughs> so, uh, right. So, so we, we've had some guests over. <laughs> you had guests. Guests saw you do this. <laughs> yeah. There was witnesses. Right. Wow. It, it, that, that. <laughs> so, right. Pe people had to be home 
you know, by a specific time. And, and I had just foolishly made a large cup of tea. And I was really thirsty. So what I did was it was too hot to drink. And what do you do if something's too hot? You want to cool it down, right? The fridge was never going to work. So couldn't go in the fridge. So it went in the freezer. About two minutes. And then once it had been in the freezer for a couple of minutes, it was fine, and I could have a neck it, and then we could then we could take the money, right? So it, completely, completely reasonable. It's just you think on a different level. You think on a different level. Thanks did, very much. Did, did the tea not melt things in the freezer? The peas, like it, I don't know how that kind of would. No. How, how cold's your freezer? Minus eighteen. Mm. Right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It, honestly, um, it's, it's I'm, I, you can take this one out. You can write this down. Take uh, it with you. I, I, right, I don't think I'll do that. I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> I just, uh, it's, I mean, it's one thing to, to, to put it in the microwave and warm it up if it's a bit cold, mm -hmm. but to, if, you're, if the tea is so hot that you put it actively in the freezer <laughs> Only and for give about it a, a minute, few minutes, right? That's your, really your friend's minute. not thinking, you're completely mental, like you're mad. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I do remember, like, I was sat, uh, uh, I was uh, walking around the kitchen and they did, like, their face of, like, <laughs> take me home now. Really? Just take me home. I, I know, stop like, it, Andy, stop <laughs> it. I'm going to die. <laughs> and, I was like, and I just carried on talking to them like this. Like, yeah, we were having a conversation about whatever it was. And, and their face just dropped a little bit. And they were a little bit surprised. And it's bizarre because you're How having the same... friends? <laughs> <laughs> they were a little bit surprised. Oh, I, love, I love you, Andy. So much love. So much love in the chat. Gosh. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah. Blood Bowl 3, eh? Blood Bowl 3? Yeah, yeah. Can we go back yeah. to the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Turn um, me off. Yeah. Kill me. Turn me off. <laughs> 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 oh. um, yeah, so Hiru's blocked some people. There we go. And he's uh, moved in here. He'll probably put in the guard here. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd guard there. Uh, six and two threes. <laughs> this guy will come in. And, uh, yeah, he's it, called him split his team, right? Three players back here. Uh, he's got a thrower and a guarder and the catcher, so he's got quite, you know, lizard men can fight seven versus eleven, humans not so much. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah, he's in a bit of a pickle here, he's got to get the band back together, he's got to make this into one big blob. Um, and I guess he's probably got enough, right, to... to yeah, he should be able to throw the hits here, shouldn't he? Knock this down, take a couple of guys back, move a couple of guys forward. Movement eight ball carrier, so he can get the ball. Maybe he's one G one or two GFIs, and he can get everything blobbed up. Yeah. It, didn't Coltrick play against uh, Crucifer in this series? I believe he did. Yeah. Because he did this same thing where he went and picked the ball up with a thrower, and we were both saying, "No, he should pick the ball up on the on the." Uh, sorry, pick the ball up on the catcher, and then he didn't have the ball on the thrower. The wrong way around, right? He didn't have the mobility of the catcher, not holding the ball. There we go. Uh, and and I thought that was really strange. And he's done the same thing again here. He's the thrower is just basically a block lineman. Yeah. But uh, he probably did the, I mean, I, I couldn't see because I was dying. Maybe he did the whole... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, the I think Andy was dying. I think Andy was the one. <laughs> Throw a pick up, hand off to catch it. Because that's like, it's more likely to work without a re-roll, isn't it? Yeah. Less likely if you commit a re-roll, but obviously with, with the potential of overtime. And uh, it's just it's just safer. It is, it is a pretty safe way of doing it. The pick up transfer. I don't hate it. Yeah, move this guy back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't blitzed Jazz, and he says he's going to presumably punch the Slayer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this because you know, ultimately, you do take a hit back, so you're just trading. You're just trading AV8 for AV8 hits, really. Ooh. Don't like that. Uh, it's okay. No, well, no, no, it's not because no, he's going to Slayer. He's going to. Yeah. Just... No. And then, because you've got the stunned human on the halfway line, so that, that long beer is just going to roll forwards, make it 2 2. Yep. Yep, it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, this is how he played against um, uh, Crucifer. He played very, very passively. And I was like, go forwards, come on. Like, like threaten the score. Yeah, because he, he's 1 0 up, right? If he goes 2 0 up, he just wow. wins. Oh, wow, yeah, that's huge. Huge guys. That, was that a guard one? Let's have a look. It's, no. It was just a normal one. A boring lineman. A <laughs> boring lineman. Just a boring <laughs> old lineman. <sighs> I guess. I guess a lot of this is about keeping the dwarves at bay now, isn't it? Really, not not allowing them in at all and holding onto the ball for as long as you can. 
It is, but he'll, and, and that's absolutely like a key part of it. But equally, what we're trying to, you know, we're saying really is if the ball is on the halfway line and then it breaks through, the Dwarves have got to be so scared because the next thing that happens is they score. 2-0, game's over. Yeah. Whereas if the ball is where it is now, there's zero chance he's going to be able to break through and score. So we're saying bring the ball forward and threaten an alternate line of play rather than it just being one. There's only one way this can go at the moment, which is the Dwarves are quite happy where the ball is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, be more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, like a normal drive, you're desperate score on turn eight and you're happy for the opponent to break away and score early. So yeah. like both offense and defense are kind of like going for the same things almost. Whereas here, the fact that the offense can threaten a, an early score means that, you know, the defense have to defend against the early score and the late score at the same time. Yeah. So, so and yeah, with, with going so deep and splitting the team, it's, it's just not, you know, it's going to take him a couple of turns. It's, it's not it's not panic stations yet, but it's it's a little bit worrying. But, you know, it's... And, and if at any point the dwarves, the humans just get bowled over in the middle of the field, then that's where it just goes horribly, very, yeah, very wrong, very fast because then they have no way of getting out of it. So I'd much rather be on the halfway line and then just break through, go score. And if I can, yeah, I don't care what turn I score, I just go and score. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Coldrip will take the score at any chance he gets and break away any chance he gets. Whereas if it was a, if it was nil-nil or if it was one nil down, then he would be tr having to delay it to, mm. to try and score on turn mm -hmm. eight. Or at least turn seven, you know, like, you know, Dwarves aren't great at quick scores. So even turn five wouldn't be, well, sorry, turn six wouldn't be a terrible score, but ideally turn seven would be. Slaps in the go for it. Yep. Yeah, and, and the Dwarves are doing the right thing here. They're trying to, first of all, isolate down the, the possible options so that the humans then have nowhere to go, and then in a turn or two's time, they'll then try and pressure the ball directly. They're dealing with it like piece by piece. I think that's the best way, right? That you know, there's, yeah. you you can cover breakaways or you can pressure the ball, but whatever you do, you do just max blocks and max damage, and max knockdowns, and then and then that everything else takes care of itself. It's a lot easier to beat five players than it is to beat eleven. Yeah, yeah. That was two into one. Yep. With the guy free to move, who could have you know just, just moved here first? This is. He's not had enough knockdowns. The humans should be able to get out of this. Yep. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, it's Popolotl says, was that human that's on the left-hand side uh, prone? Uh, was so it's stunned. Yes, yes, it was stunned. I think we were all stunned last turn, weren't we? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Utterly gobsmacked is probably the word I'd use. Utterly gobsmacked. <laughs> you didn't think that was going to be the, one of the things you took away on your piece of paper with no. notes? I've never, I've never heard about a freezer being abused so badly. <laughs> Gosh, almighty! Oh, wow. it's just, it, to me, it, was, it would have been a fly on the wall watching your friends' faces and just seeing them thinking, "Has he just put a cup of tea in the freezer?" <laughs> and well, oh, just wonderful. Thanks. No, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. This was a very, I do not like this. This was super aggressive from Hiro. Double GFI puts in a reroll to, you know, give an assist away. <laughs> yeah. Right? Or like give a block away. You know, either way, it's the assist to a blitz or it's just, you know, giving away a block. It did not like that. I preferred it when he's just trying to win the fight. I think. Yeah, you win the just fight. Just win the fight. Yep. Just win the fight because you, you can't pressure and cover at the same time. What you can do is just make it a big scrap and win the scrap and then. Pick, pick off um, call troop like what, what, however he attacks wait a second wow he blitzed and won in 81 and I don't know why he didn't just go there and assist but he did blitz yeah and he rolled badly and can the slayer now hit the ball is it a go, double go for it I think he can slay the ball if if this is a 1D push he could yep and is there a chain push anywhere? Like, could you push someone? I think you can push that long beard forward. Is that? Cause he's got two D. Yeah, fill that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can maybe he's double push him. Oh wow. <laughs> Tricky. Who doesn't like a double chain push? <laughs> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It's, 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 it's odd watching it. It feels like Kalchup hasn't had as much of a plan this second half. He's been holding the ball yeah. to the bottom left-hand corner and just kind of holding and not really having an incentive to, to push forward or do or do something. And that kind of, I guess it opens up for Hiru to kind of dictate the play to a degree. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he just took three players out of the drive, essentially. So Hiru was like, well, okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just beat you up now. It's 11 versus 8. And... And yeah, he's got beaten up and now he's completely lost the line of scrimmage. He's lost all momentum on the drive and he just has three players. Well, yeah, these three just running around going, uh, you know, please don't kill us, which is... <laughs> the thing is, he does have the speed though. So like, you know, maybe this is good in a way, right? Like breaking down the, the drive like this, you know, if if Hero's already put in a reroll GFIing here, if he puts in a reroll in a 1D or a double GFI to hit the ball, He's out of re-rolls, and then he's got two players near the ball. Well, then now, Coltrip can run away. He's got three players here. He can, you know, he could mm, get, like, yeah. five players up here. So, you know, maybe a re reactive offense rather than a reactive defense. Interesting. Okay, so he's he's freed up another player. But he, he doesn't get him in, right? He'd still have a GFI, which is just the same as a 1D, essentially. So, yeah. You know, a bit better, right? A bit better. More players around the ball more likely to get the knockdown and stuff. Yeah, that not being a power <laughs> is pretty big because he can use that player to then free the Slayer. I, I don't think I blitz the ball here because because I'm I'm okay with how this is going. Yeah, I think I think honestly, uh, I think the whole thing might have been a mistake from Hiru, right? He could have had two re-rolls and knocked everybody down last turn. Yep. I'd Slayer the... But he's going for he's it. He's going for it. I mean, he's 1-0 down, to be fair, right? He's 1-0 down. So, he's under pressure. Like, he, ha he c it's not enough to just stop the score. He has to go forward at some point and, and pressure. Like, he, he cannot just try and stop the human scoring. He has to actively Yeah, he has, yeah, he has to pressure. stop it. But there's no... Re yeah, I, yeah. You, I mean, that's not that's not wrong, is it? But he's going to stand the player up. The thrower's going to blitz the, block the, the, the this slayer away. And then he can do what he wants. Yeah. And, and, he, and he's got just enough humans still stood up on the halfway line. But maybe he can free up one or two of them. The ogre's doing a, doing a lot of work there. And now Hiru will be the one out of position because there'll be three players tied up on two. Yeah. And the move eight guy will be free to move up. These can all block. Yeah. And it'll all of a sudden, Coltrip will have his breakaway maybe. Yeah. Inarian says his dodge optional there. Inarian dodge is always optional <laughs> on the edge two pitch squares of the pitch. <laughs> but it is known, right? Inarian, we know that dodge doesn't work or, or is always there in the middle. So, uh, yeah. He schools, this, this middle is even more. This um, is even, even more wide open now, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Because he, he doesn't need to spend the blitz freeing the ball carrier. You could, you, you can, you, eight squares further forward. Wow. That yep. Slayer's basically KO now. Yep. Yeah, I think it was... Funny, isn't it, that, that Call Troop invited... You know, invited the fight. Hiru went for the fight, and then he went for the pressure. And if he'd just stayed in the fight, then, then eventually he would have got pressure. You know, it's by itself, maybe, but it would have got it later. It, yeah. I guess he felt the urgency. Being 1-0 down with Dwarves, he felt the urgency that he had to create the pressure now. And if, if he had just carried on fighting, well... He can't fight the whole half, right? Because then he'll just lose 1 0. <laughs> so if, if he was 1 0 ahead, then he would have been right to just stay fighting. But I guess he did have to pressure at some point. But yeah, that's the weakness of Dwarves. They're so slow. And now he's, you know, he's grossly out of position now. Yep. I'd like to see the guard stay near the ball just because it cuts down options. But equally, at the moment, there's just a 4 plus dodge for two dice on the ball with tackle. It ain't going to get much better than that, so he's got to do something. Yep. I mean, at the moment, there's like a there's a there's a two D for a for a two D on the oh, ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, t screw the screw the dodge, just just two D two D. So he definitely has to uh, what block with the ogre here to free this these two guys up. Oh, and he's got the ball down. He's got the ball down. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my god. It's 181, oh, I think he rolled it. Yeah, it no, was the he's... ogre. <gasps> I thought it was the ogre hitting to free the lineman. 
yeah, which it is what I would have done, but no, it was just a normal lineman, so it was a full one in 81. Absolutely brutal. So, look, he so, so he so, so Coltrip suckered Hero into pressuring, and now with that, oh, well, let's push is good, right? Yeah, push, push is, is fine. Yep. So the sucker sucker has suckered the sucker <laughs> yeah. into the sucker punch. Yeah, and I, this is an incredible push direction as well onto, onto these two players, completely surrounded. With tackle. Ah. Puts in his last reroll. Zero hesitation putting in the last reroll to get the knockdown. <laughs> the ball comes loose. The runner is KO. KO. <laughs> so we're looking at blitzers. And Where are uh, the blitzers? One's here and one's here. So one is yet to activate, but he's based. Maybe this looks really good from Hiru now, actually, because, you know, if if he'd waited a bit longer, you know, with only two blitzers that can reliably handle the ball, he'd be in real danger of being out of time. So what we are establishing here is that we know nothing. <laughs> we, we can't say that part out loud, Andy. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> They've chosen the right guys for the job. The right guys for the job. Oh, and they're watching just over... Oh, they're all shaking their heads. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not coming back tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, this is the beauty of the game, is there's like there's more than one way to skin a cat, and you know nobody really knows if if you know which players are the best. We don't have Blood Bowl stockfish, <laughs> yeah. so all we have is our, our our opinions and our play style, you know, coloured by our play style. And. I wonder if this is like a different way of playing. So like do 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 the Spanish players play like a different like I wanna say standard, like different way of playing that maybe you know us Brits we choose to play a different way and, and we're looking at and judging them through our our lens maybe. Maybe a little bit, right? Because the, the Russians were certainly a bit different on Blood Bowl too, weren't they? With yeah. like, you know, the, the Russian dwarf build and the Russian chaos build. Um so yeah, may, maybe there's an element of that. Yeah. Ah, chat. I was very careful there. Um, <laughs> one of the, um, the 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 things I'm accused of is that accused, accused, My right? Accused, <laughs> accused, and it's not it's not been proven. Um, that that the that different elements of the Blood Bowl community, yeah, we, factions, uh, is is one of the things, and there's this 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 sentiment. That that, um, that the Spanish are not as good at Blood Bowl, right? And it's it's pro proliferated in my chat, and I think that's untrue. Yeah, there's some absolutely fantastic Blood Bowl players that are Spanish. Well, two we of them are still we're Disney still finals. here. You're yeah, right, yeah. yeah I, I'm out. They're in. Proves that one of one of the best didn't even make it in. Andre Andre's absolutely top player. Yeah, he he didn't is. even make it through the play-ins. Gosh. Oh yeah. They they won uh they won. The t Blitz Pit Teams was a big tournament there, mm -hmm. run by Gdanik. Uh They tragically, tragically for me, they beat me in the final. <laughs> um, but yeah, top, top, top quality the, the Spanish lads. And he's still blaming chat when it's not even his own stream. Well, <laughs> so the R Russian, Rus the Russians. Uh, now, now other people have done this build as well, but. Oh. Predominantly, they, they. Oh! Oh, wow, huge. Why is he doing that 1D, though? I don't know. Like, dodge the thrower away and pick the ball up. <laughs> no, it's a catcher. It's just a catcher. The guy that he knocked over, isn't it? It's the catcher. So that's why he was doing the 1D, so this was with dodge. Because otherwise, it's not. So he'd rather, he'd rather this guy fail on the 1D than this guy oh. fail on the dodge. So that is why. Um, it's basically wrestle and guard on the same player for the, like the the throwaway the throwaway beast men. They would go wrestle and guard. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Line of scrimmage duty, and then when they not line of scrimmaging, they've got guard for being useful. Yeah. So I mean, dwarves have four turns here to, yeah. to score. It feels like the last couple of days turns, Cal Troop hasn't it hasn't particularly good in his favour. Is that bad decision making, or is that just kind of like the the luck of the draw, dice wise? Hard to say. <laughs> yeah, maybe a bit of both. Um, it's it's, t it's tough. Like it is a bad match for humans. It is a bad match for humans, and he'd done amazing to turn over Hiru yeah. on defense. But uh, 
you know, this is going more the way you'd expect humans versus dwarves to go, in that they just get completely outmuscled, outblocked heavily, and, and everything goes wrong because you've got an armor 18 versus an armor 19 with thick skull and, and loads of block and guard. This is more how, kind of how I'd expect my defensive house to go against humans. Yep. And now, could could Cordrick have played it differently? Yes. He could have played it a lot differently. Maybe he should have, but, you know, who knows? Maybe it would have gone wrong a different way if he had. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've been we've been surprised. Like, I could have gone like this, could have gone like that. Um, yeah, I think makes the pick. Wow. That is massive. Wow, huge hurdle to overcome with no rerolls. Yep. Do you cough the one no. of these surfs? Oh, well, they're both out of rerolls. Yeah, yeah. With with cold troop not having any rerolls as well, you definitely don't go for it. Well. <laughs> No, because you're just giving up the opportunity. Oh. No, I am. I am. Because you can push it out and then you're done, aren't you? Because the problem is, if he doesn't go for it, it's just a 3 plus, you know, to get free anyway. So, you only fail on a you only fail on a 1. Yeah, you fail on a 1, he fails on a 1 or a 2. Yeah. I still hasn't actually made my mind up for me, I don't think. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's tricky. It is tricky. So this is heading towards overtime. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, Cold Troop can still roll just dice instantly, right? It's a, he's got a 3 plus 5 plus to completely turn this game on its head. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. Hasn't really got any other plays either. No, you, you, three. It's it's three. Do you want three three for two dice on the ball? What? Oh, he's playing. He's playing safely. Yeah. And he's going to take yeah. the two D on the Slayer. He's one nil up. He's one nil up. So yeah, this was this was the this was the third way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Blitz him. Block him. Yeah, this is okay. Try to dodge the mighty blow blitzer, maybe, or, or the lineman here. Maybe the blitzer. Can't get that far back, but he can get back a bit. Maybe Ogre Dodge. Ogre Dodge could be massive. I wouldn't have hated the Ogre Dodge because then you, this guy's still tied up on the on the Blitzer, and then it leaves everyone else paired off one on one. So a four plus Ogre Dodge could have been absolutely monumental. I mean, that could have been. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe the Ogre Dodge was the play. It would have failed, but <laughs> no, that would have been a bonehead. Hey. <laughs> So it might have worked. Might have worked. Ow. Build build an eye cage first of all, right? So just put that for me one south. Oh, okay. And then now move the ball because it's turn fourteen and you cannot afford this to go wrong. Yes. Yeah, you have to move the ball. So things will change now from like. Optimal to optimally safe, right? Yeah. Like, if he had three rerolls now, he'd be trying to make the end state as good as it could possibly be. Now he's got to make it like the likeliest it will be that he gets to an acceptable end state. <laughs> yeah. Like here, he's he's left again. He's basically left three plus three plus for two on the ball, but there was not much more you could do without risking an awful lot of. Well, they don't even score at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, and and you know that that's like that kind of idea of like optimal end state versus most likely to get to an acceptable end state. That's what like you know Artemis tends to call like bad blood bowl and stuff, and it's not necessarily right. Like it's, there's a lot more to it than just safe moves first and making. You know, you see a lot of people on the internet when they're trying to give advice to new players say that blood bowl is a game of risk mitigation and stuff. And well, it isn't. It it really isn't just mitigation at all, right? It yes, it's a huge part, and it's. Maybe the best thing to say to beginners so that they, they realize that, that they've got to think about that. But it, it's about optimization as well. And it's about yeah. making sure that when the good things happen, you know, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not like going from no risk to most risk in your turn from one you know, linear scale to the end. Sometimes you need to put in the four plus as your third action, especially. And you need to know when to do that and what turns to not do that on. Mm, going for the one day here, double GFI. Fails the second one, KOs himself. <laughs> uh, has he got an apothecary? He has. Yeah, good. He has, and he puts it in. Good. 
Because he doesn't want to be down to 10. Does Hiru just score? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Good. So we're going to overtime. Almost certainly, Coltrip might score a one turn here or get a uh, or get a timeout. But. Town Dwarves are on 10. And, yeah. and this could be really tricky. If the, well, I mean, if the runner doesn't come back, yeah. irrespective of what happens next, that'll be tricky. But yeah. the humans have still got 12, actually, so I would be <laughs> fouling. Right, it's a free foul. Throw it in. Yep. Split the line of scrimmage so you don't leave yourself a option of a one turn. Yeah, massive gang foul. Whatever happens, massive gang foul. I, th I think, I mean, you could go for the one turn here. You could go for it. Low odds, though, right? Just the, the dice have got to be pretty good. I mean, not that good because of the, the tight LOS being so terrible. Yeah, so, the tight, tight LOS. I mean, the tight LOS, I think you don't need. You can hit different dwarves each time. So now it's just don't roll, it's one, don't roll a one in nine, don't roll a one in nine, don't roll a one in nine. Yep. You've got the throw for picking it up, the catcher for catching it. This, this should be doable. Yeah, uh, the, the main problem is is scoring right down here, 4-4-3. Four, four, oh, hang on, no, worse. Look, he's left oh. the blitzer. No, it's still the same. Yeah, but it's, at least it's with dodge. Yeah, yeah, but there's a the blitzer Oh, here. you've got blitzer there as well. Yeah, yeah so 4-4-3. Four, 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 That's the hardest part, probably. The, the, yeah. the, you can pound the first hit. And, and like everything yep. else, you, you've got so many players stuck together. You can probably power on two hits and still and still get him in range. So, if only had his re-rolls. Uh, he's put the players in the wrong squares. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, he has. He, he must have done. Yeah, yeah, definitely has. That catcher is in the wrong place. Yep. It needs to go. Yeah, so Adam, it needs to go on one of the uh, edges, so where the ogre yeah. is now, or it needs to go one to the right, right? One to the left, or one to the right. Or Depend two. Could oh, be here. wait. What? Could that, be here, but it's... Yeah, that's, that's absolutely in the wrong square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So so probably the, the, the best thing to do was uh, was to have it here with a hole, and you blitz this guy, and then you can pow him oh. and chain the other guy into the hole. What just got sent off? Uh, now it's just a free walk into the end zone. <gasps> and he's put the throw at catcher in the wrong square. Yeah. No. It, I mean, it's still doable, but it's way harder. Yeah. Well, he's got the first push. It's definitely so he's currently chaining the ogre into the end zone. This is <laughs> unseen before on... <laughs> Yes, the ogre is where the catcher should have been. He would have got one forward instantly. And now the ogre's... <laughs> now the ogre's another square one forward forward. where yep. the catcher should have been. But he can pow now on this hit. Oh, he's moved the uh, ogre. Yeah. So now the catcher... Yeah, he can now power, can't he? Because the guard yeah, blitzer will be able to... Yeah. And uh, and then maybe the uh, the ogre could hit as well and stuff. Like, there's lots of... Yeah. He might as well take the push. It's probably easy. Yeah. I think he might have made a mistake. I don't know. I mean, he has made a mistake. He literally put it in the wrong square. If, 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 if this yeah. would have been the third square already, right? If that right, it's done, yeah. But he, he can move this guard around. GFI? Yeah, it's GFI. Do you think this is, this is looking possible? Yeah, 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 it's still doable. Well, he can just, he can just punch. He can put in the lineman here and punch him. That's, yeah. that's way better. Yeah. And then the ogre, I guess, if the ogre's not scoring the one turn, which we predict he's not... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then he's got the then he's got the 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 block off, which yeah. is actually wonderful. Yeah, this is really this actually works out really nice. Like he he got he had to get luckier than he should have had to get. Oh, you could just move the ogre in there. Okay, fair enough. It's not as good as making this block, I don't think. But he gets oh, the power. He gets the power, so it's fine. Make up for it. So okay. he's in range. So right. Here we go. The throws a human throws pass on a three, right? Or they two. no pass on two. twos, don't they? Twos. Yep. So it'll be a four plus probably. So it'll be ten squares out, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a four plus to me. So it's seventy five percent to make it. And then eighty nine to catch it. Oh, oh for 
500 quid, he fails. Dust. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was only a 500 quid flat throw. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, blood bowl. Do you know what the funny thing is? If he had re-rolls, he could have double geified and make a three plus pass. And, and would it have worked? Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh. No, roll one re-roll two. But it doesn't show oh, what no. the ro it rolls doesn't. were. It doesn't, does it? it? Doesn't show the initial. We're never roll. gonna know. <clears throat> we'll never know. Yeah. So we go to uh, the first overtime of the day, lads. Yeah, first yeah. time. And this is bad for whoever wins, right? Whoever wins now after the, a grueling overtime match. Yeah, with a short turnaround, then the next match up against Inaro, who's waiting, refreshed. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Inaro gets more of a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inaro is just sat there on his deck chair and his... <laughs> Pina colada. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. And his <laughs> so I'm, small I'm a bit cigarette. Of, I'm a bit weird with, like, I, I love slushy cocktails, you know, as, comparatively Wait. to, like... Slushies? Yeah, like, with, like, like crushed ice. Yeah. What? Why are you looking at me like like, like I'm mad? <laughs> what you said earlier about yeah, yeah Andy comes yeah. out with insanity, like, like, and then like I'm, what you what, like Peter Galan, you weirdo. Well, I've just, <laughs> yeah. I've just got in my head like you're just talking about like yeah, what's those blue slushy things in the machine with the the whirly like ice things, and you go to a bar and it's like right, so the five year olds can have that. Are you talking about slush puppies? Yeah. <laughs> no. Like you're you're I mean, like, you, you're with me, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> You might live on Mars, man. I don't understand. This is wild. I don't understand. This, this, this nonsense. What? Well, it's, it's, it's like, I, I'm not the one drinking an alcoholic slush puppy here, right? Well, all the rest of us are. You know, <laughs> yeah. That's completely yeah. normal. We both yeah. are thinking, yeah. what's what's weird about a throat? Yeah, you know what that, yeah, a slushy yeah, cocktail. Yeah. 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 yeah, thank you. Yeah. What would you refer to it as? I wouldn't have one. Right. <laughs> And thus is our problem. Yeah. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay, now we understand that. That's nice. nice. I'm glad we've ironed that one out, at least. <laughs> yeah. Give me. Ironing out. Uh, ironing things yeah, out. Ironing ironing things. Things. Yeah. 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 Adam Savage all right, all right, all right, all right. I, you know, I do like to iron. What can I say? <laughs> I like a crease. All right? That T-shirt has probably seen, like, 4,000 iron marks, hasn't it? It's just, like, just ironing all over the place. It's seen a lot of steam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those things in my life. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. 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 I went there. Yeah. I went there. It, it was good. Yeah. The, f the first thing you said, I, I hope this room's got an iron. Thank you, uh, meat. Thank, thank you, meat smeller. I appreciate <laughs> that. <mate. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> if you just joined us, watch back the VOD. You'll understand. <laughs> All right. We're going to overtime. Uh, dwarfs. I mean, humans here. The, the ball's in their court. Literally right here. I think. I guess it's this for Cal Troop. This is a, a good position to be in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good observation. Thank you very much. I'm. I'm. I'm learning. <laughs> I mean, you'd think it was, but then Hiru got turned over and scored on on his offense, and then Cal Troop got turned over and scored on on his. So is it actually good to be? I mean, they they both thought it was, but uh, is it hasn't been thus far, and now it's an offense without any rerolls. So very scary. Tell me he's going to pick the ball up on the thrower, please. Oh. He already hasn't. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's a, it's a new meta. It's a new meta, A new right? meta. So, so you've got this player. He's very good at picking the ball up off the ground. You've got this other player that's very good at receiving the ball thrown at his head. Right? What player would you choose to pick the ball up off the ground with? The guy that's good at throwing the ball at his head? Or the guy that's good at picking the ball up off the ground? The ground. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm just checking. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, they don't throw it at the head, Andy. They throw it at the chest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. We're blown. Blown. Hey, we're learning everything. We're, so ed we're getting really re educated today. We're learning a lot here on the show. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Feel free to drop your anecdotes in the chat as well. I'd love to hear your kind of facts. <laughs> no, because they'll drop facts about me. That, that, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. More of these stories. No. There's only so much I can take. To <laughs> the weird and wonderful eating habits of Andy Davo. <clears throat> anyway. I don't know if I have any weird eating habits, you know. You know what? No. What, what, what do I do that's weird? We talked about we talked about tuna and beans on toast. That's a bit weird. Yeah, that's a bit weird, yeah. But I'm yeah. still into it. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Don't judge me. Beans on toast, immense. Right? I don't care yeah. where you're from. Beans on toast is amazing. Anything you do to a jacket potato, yep. I would do to toast. I would. <laughs> I literally, carb is carb, I would do the same thing. Anything, anytime. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, okay. But yeah, that, that, that sounds realistic. Yeah. <laughs> and anyone who says that they don't like Marmite is a mad person to me. Because wow. it, is, it is my jam. Okay, there's there's your thing wrong. You're not a hater. <laughs> I'm You're not a complete hater. hater, yeah. Jimmy! Sorry. You were fantastic till just now. Now I'm just like, what? Are Jim, you you uh, hating it too? No. You love it? Oh, it's amazing. Do you like uh, yeah, well, it's but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not the 1970s anymore, but yes, sure. <laughs> yeah, I like Bob Um I haven't had that for ages. You can't buy it most of the time now. No. Marmite is just literally waste product, isn't it? No. No. That is literally it's what like it is. It's like yeast and stuff. <laughs> it's literally the waste product. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, I don't think that, that, that brand, the name of that, wouldn't really sell, would it? <laughs> wouldn't, would it? No. Would you like some waste product on your toast? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wowzers. Yep, it is literal waste product. It's the waste product from making diesel. I, I don't <laughs> think that's entirely true, is it? <laughs> no, beer. It, beer is the correct option there. <laughs> is, it, is it from beer? Is yeah, that it, 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 it is literally yeah, the waste product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't joking. It is literally. Oh, it's waste actual product. waste product. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. it's, oh, I, mate, I'm there. Anything savoury in general, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm, that's, I'm a savoury kind of guy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm I, as you you discovering, I'm a little picky when it comes to food. A little picky. <laughs> a little picky. <laughs> that's he uphill the that's ogre a and then followed. I like. I I up like I uphill the ogres to like save the mighty blow hit right. That was interesting to yeah. follow in with a guarder as well. Really weird. Like I would be making that hit to not get my guarder <laughs> hit by mighty blow, and then he followed up. Yeah. This this type of match here, this is definitely favouring the, the dwarves, isn't it? Because the the only thing that goes wrong is two dice blocks. But then you don't follow crazy plays like what what. Yeah, it's. I take this. If I can get the score in as well, I am absolutely 100% scoring. Yes. Yeah. Any time. Same, same as same as before. Yeah. You know, e even though the situation is different, that it's it's one one, and it doesn't win you the game scoring. The, you can't now you, lose. Yeah, you've you've got to back yourself that you you can you can maybe stop them <laughs> that you can maybe stop them, and even if yeah. you don't, you've 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 at least got the coin flip at the end of the day. So um, yeah, 100% yeah, bang it in any chance you get. Wowzers. I hope he gets through, because I'd love to know why he can't pick the ball up on the guy that's got sure hands. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Especially when he just stands him right next to the guy, right next to the ball, right? Because he could just be picking it up and then handing it off to the catcher, mm. which is just better than a straight three plus when you don't have a reroll. Unbelievable. I mean, I understand carrying on the catcher because it's movement eight with dodge. Of course, it's, it's pretty great carrying on, like, you know, gutter runners instead of scaven throwers, etc. But the, why not just pick up, uh, you know, pick up and then hand off? It's just better, right? Yeah. Most of the time. Interesting blitz, that one. And I'd gone, I'd have pushed him inside because where would you want to go here? We want to go round the outside. <coughs> round the outside. Uh, probably round the outside, I think. And, and, and he's pushed him. That way. Yeah. We've got to chain hit the ball here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI in. And then... Oh, nice. Yeah. The problem is... You can get oh. him in, but how do you get another one in? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Double G... Yeah, three GFI. He's, nah, sadly. <laughs> I thought there'd be another one. I, I saw this guy can get in there, and oh, but he's already based off. We don't have it. Would would have been nice though, right? But yep. No, it wouldn't have actually. No, no, it totally didn't work. No, never mind. Disregard, errata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty strong. Pretty strong. I quite like using the uh, using the ogre here to like hold the flank a little bit, right? Because there's yep. there's three guards out here. That's, that's a big commitment. Big. How, I mean, how did they end up being over there? Because the guards for me, are dwarves. You you guards in the middle, rubbish players on the edges. Right, that, that's yeah. just how you play it. Yeah. And then once the humans have definitely committed, then I might move from the middle to where they're going. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is... Uh... 
This is something. Yeah. Matty says, is it a two plus pickup with catcher? No, it's uh, it's a three plus. So, so the catcher is essentially like three out of nine to fail. And then if you pick it up with a thrower and then hand it off to the catcher, you've got two one in nines. So it's like, a, you know, almost a two in nine versus a three in nine without a reroll. If you're going to commit a reroll, then maybe it is better to pick it up directly in the catcher, um, you know, because it is movement eight and blodge. Yeah. And if that's where you want it, and, you know, depending on circumstances, it, it can be fine just to pick up. But, you know, generally, it's uh, it's a little bit suboptimal. Like, not terrible. You know, it's not. It's it's not it's not as crazy as uh, well. Well, you know. well, you keep that thought. <laughs> keep that thought. Whatever it is, keep that thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not as crazy as basically anything Andy's done in his life. <laughs> I can't work in these conditions. <laughs> which involves his mouth. Which involves his mouth. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. True. Or his nose, actually. Meat smeller. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Look at the little trap doors on the pitch. Aren't they cute? Yeah, yes, very Lovely. cute. Very cute. They're like bear traps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you looked to me then as if you wanted me to step in said bear trap. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Andy is the bear trap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, well, that's a push. <laughs> oh, I get this. <laughs> Does he have the movement to come up here? Yep. And a 1D. Oh, skulls. Dear. Oh, dear. I think you've got to make the 1Ds, right? You, you, one, you 1D them, or they 1D you, so... Yeah. Or, or they 2D you, so you, you've got to roll the dice. Did quite well to get back in the middle there, Hiru. Yeah. Turn ordering, unbelievably important here. Don't roll any dice until that ball is safe. Yeah, I think now we are definitely at the, you know, risk mitigation. You know, m make sure you've got something at the end of your turn. Yeah, I, I think I'm blitzing the Slayer here with the. Yeah, here we go. Because that, if it's a power, it gives you back some players. Yeah. And then you can push down the flank. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Really, really strong. Yeah. That's really nice. Yep. Yeah, this is looking very strong for... They should be able to put this in scoring. Right, loop round now, put it in scoring range, use the two free players to screen it, and then you can just punch Dwarves in the face afterwards. Yep. <coughs> yep, this is the play. Yeah. So he needs, he needs to be on the tight... Yeah, he needs to be on the 10 line, doesn't he? Yep, he can get there as well. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. I think okay. the lineman could have gone here. Three, one, two, three... Oh, there we go. He's, yeah. he's fixed it. And now that lineman now can walk around. Because I'm, I'm a bit nervous. There's a blitzer at the... the yeah, that's, there we go. He's, he's fixed it. Yeah. <clears throat> and now this guy... Can, yeah. He rolls through. I mean, yeah. there's an argument for, like, you know, keeping these guys based. But uh, yeah, it makes sense to get through there. Yeah. So. I was about to say this is the end of overtime, but it's not, is it? Because if he scores... We have to then see the reverse. So he actually he now wants to stall this. Yes. But if you if you don't if it's a choice between this might go wrong and stall uh, and it might go wrong and stall or just score you, you just score. But I'd like to stall it for at least another turn, at least. Yeah, you definitely like to. This is blitzer, right? So easy two D here. Yeah. There's no way you're not making. This. I guess. No, the argument is you, the, the dodge gets you another guy up, helps you stall, right? But hit, but what does the hit do for you? If, you, if you pow, you take care of a free dwarf. Yeah. I, I, stay still or take the hit is what I would do. Dodge would be my third choice because he's doing... For me, he's doing he's doing a job. He's marking a down dwarf, like, as a minimum. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I quite, I, quite like, I quite like the dodge there. I quite like the dodge. Big payoff if you, if you get it up here. Big payoff, right? Yeah. Huge payoff. Yeah, if, if it works... And it works. Not a lot of payoff if it if if it works. Like you know, if the block works, there's not a huge payoff. Like you down a dwarf up here and you you base him. Like it, it, there is payoff. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. There, there, I I can understand it, but I think I quite like that. I quite like the brave move there to try and make your your stall easier. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs>
funny, isn't it? Jamba liked the dodge too. <clears throat> uh, Antic says, I see a bear trap kickoff event. Yes, it was absolutely a kickoff event. Yeah, trap doors. So, um, went down the other side. No, no involvement of the bear traps whatsoever. Yeah, and if you stand in it, is it a two plus to get boofed? Uh, sorry, you've got to roll a one, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, roll anything but a one. Yeah, <laughs> if you roll a one, if you if you enter this square at any point in the game, if you roll a one, you uh, vacate that <laughs> the pitch. <laughs> Crowd surf. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. I think it's I'm score. Yeah. Yeah. Got, surely, just to notch the point. Score. Yeah. Don't don't mess around. Score. And, and then back yourself to be able to defend four turns. And they might not even have a runner. Because if, the, I mean, four turns and the ball goes uh, in the back half of the field, you've you've done it. Yep. And, and you and at you least get the 50%, right? You at least have the 50% to win. Yeah. I don't like this. You know, funnily enough, if he, uh, if he'd had this glitter, I would have <laughs> used him to cancel that. So maybe it wouldn't have happened without that blitzer anyway. But, you know, if he had a blitzer here, blitz there, block there, you know, like, things could have happened, but I think he just, I think just scoring is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, a, a deep kick. Dwarves running the ball in, against a deep kick. Wow. Interesting. So he's choosing not to. Interesting. He's wrong, but he's <laughs> choosing not to. Well, he's, I don't think he, well, uh, he's necessarily just stall, wrong. Just to stall one more turn. Yeah. yeah. It's a big difference, right? A five-turn drive to a four-turn drive is a big difference. Mm -hmm. Big swing in odds for the uh, the dwarf scoring. But I mean, I think most of us would just get yeah. Would we, psychologically as well, you just want to bang it in, get something at least yeah. your fifty-fifty to win. Then whatever happens, your fifty-fifty to win. Yeah. He's making this position worse again. Elliot likes the stall. There you go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I respect you, Elliot. He's got to dodge this guy. Oh no, I do not like dodging that guy. I like dodging this guy, right? He's got yeah. guard. He's not. He's not abandoning anything. Whereas this one is is a, you know is freeing this guy up. This guy isn't freeing anybody. So dodge this one and reinforce first, then do that dodge. Yeah. Elliot, Elliot, how do you like that stall sandwich now? <laughs> I wonder if there's a chain here. <laughs> it's bait. Yeah. Block him. Put yeah. him there. Block him. But then, no, then everyone's yeah, activated it's, anyway. It's yeah. He can block. That's 1D. So you, there's just this guy. So he's got. Who goes in there. Yeah. 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 And then this guy hits without blitzes. Tackle. Yeah. One, two, three, and, four, and you're five, assuming then that the humans have then got to make. If you don't roll the pow, then the humans have got to do you know, dodging. Oh, and this this guy can block, so this guy can. This this one blocks, and he goes one, two, three, four to base him. Yeah. That's the first thing you do. <clears throat> Is the stall sandwich being microwaved? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it does sometimes need warming up, yeah. Oh, but he's moved him first, yeah. Okay, so this guy wants to go through that square to go in there, I think. Yeah. So I'd have moved the guard in there first and then moved this guy. Oh, no, he can't go one up because then he'd be... He, he yeah, so he's... Want, yeah. So yeah, he's got to go there. Okay. I feel like I've been judged. Your microwave's <laughs> seen a lot of action, hasn't it? <laughs> Over the years. It's battle scarred, yeah. Yeah. Battles God. <laughs> God. The remnants of every melted Marmite sandwich just stuck to, the, stuck to the insides and out. Here we go. Big GFI. Rolls a one. Oh. Wow. Classic. Brilliant stall by Call Troop. Well done, Elliot. Great stall. Great stall. Great play. <laughs> yeah. One in six times, it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> he's not he's just trying to start. Maybe he is trying to stall again. Oh, wow, that's a that's a that's gutsy. 
He's got this block here I'd to like... chain a guard out. I'd like to see another stall here now. No, I wouldn't. I'd like to see him score. That gets guard there. That gets this bl block. Oh. Blitz over to here. That block there. And then this guy's over here. And then you get another turn of stall. So, yeah, there is a there is another turn of stall in this. Got to start off with a, a block full block. Yeah. And then that, then you see if you've got a chance of it. Yeah, and then it, yeah, and then if it works, you, you want you want powers. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I don't hate that as much. I do like standing that guy up before we do anything else. Yes, yes, right, yes. Well, even if you're going to score, yeah. you still <laughs> yeah. stand him Just up. Stand first. him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to risk it for the man, mate. <laughs> Well, well he's committing to the stall. Yeah, yeah, just commit. Yeah, commit first. It's not that bad, right? Hmm. So then, uh, yeah, because that, that Dwarf Blitz has now got a 3+. plus. Um, if, if nothing else, that Dwarf Blitz has got a... kind of got a 3+. plus. No, he hasn't. Yeah, just block. Two dice block. Ugh. Then, yeah. I hate this stall. But, yeah, I, I like doing this block first. Do, do this block first. See if you free him. If this guy's free then commit to the stall. But uh, the problem is, of course, if he dub skulls this and he's still there, it's worse, right? So, mm. Oh, and he hasn't, he hasn't done this. What's he up to then? Is he blitzing with the mighty blows, you think? Maybe. And then hoping he rolls a kapow? He can bl block with the mighty blow and then free the tackler. Yeah. Stand up the guy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm into standing the guy up. Are you blitzing on the mighty blow? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, stand this guy up first. This is this is worse. He's just handed two dice to the, on the thing with the thing. Yep. And you've now got to dodge the mighty blow. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Well, I guess you can dodge this guy. Oh. Whoa. Wow. There's an expression about being lucky and good. I. It eludes <laughs> me right now, but there is something <laughs> in that, like lucky and good, lucky and good. It's it's just rattling in my brain. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, the freeing the guard was, was definitely the best play. Yeah. If, you, if you power there, then he comes one, two, three, four, five, six, Whoa. seven. Gives you the assist for this hit. And then that, that guy then blitzes to get the assist for there. That was 100% the best play. Uh, can, the, can that Longbeard get there? One, two, three, four. No, he's... Yeah, just out. He can just base. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, these guys can only base. <coughs> Ooh. Oh. Double GFI, and then he can block him there, and then it's just a three plus to hit. I like that. That's create creative. Problem is, it's two GFIs, and he failed the last one. <laughs> and he fails the next one. Oh, no. <laughs> now it's maybe another turn of stall. Yeah. Wow. Well, but now just... the dwarves are on a three turn, so now this happened. I mean, it is definitely another turn of stall, right? Because they're not even closer. Yeah, that's just got worse. Poor. Yeah. Poor, poor um, hero. Yeah, it's a hundred percent right to the edge, even. Yeah, not terrible. Then he comes there and hits him. Yeah, yeah. This stall I pr approve of. This is a fully sanctioned. You allow this stall. one. You'll yeah, let yeah, this yeah. one slide. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is a fully sanctioned Andy Thank stall. you, thank you, Andy. You're, wa you're, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, this block first is the best one. Gets you this guard in. Yeah, this is looking very strong now. Yeah. Wow, Carl Troop just keeps doing it. I Amazing. did say he was going to. You did, yeah. Though you did say you didn't think he would. You were no. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> but he keeps doing it. Amazing. He did lose versus Art, didn't he? He lost versus Art because he yeah. set up because he thought it was over. He was in overtime. Oh, that's right. Turn, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. We were baffled last weekend. We we're like, what? Yeah. What just happened? <laughs> I mean, everyone else has beaten it. Amazing. He's beat, yeah, yeah, he's beat everybody, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. really has. Incredible stuff. So, let's say Kaljuk goes through, he faces Anari, got to beat Anari on, then Strider, then Diomed to be grand for, like, the champion. Yeah. So, basically, worked his, would work his way through the entire <laughs> lobby yeah. to get to the end. Yeah. yeah. It's a glory story. I like it. Yeah. And he'd have to beat Diomed two times out of three. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Ooh. true. Yeah, yeah, that's big. That's, that is a tough ask for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is... Look at those dodges at the end there. He's also freeing up loads of players to be able to react to whatever the Dwarves do next. Yeah. Apart from that dodge. Yeah, this is the thing, like, uh, you know, the, the Dwarf Plan A is better than the Human Plan A. But the Human Plan B is, like, 
a hundred times better than the dwarf plan B. <laughs> yeah. it, like it's so insane, you know. Like just roll some threes and, and you're golden. Whereas dwarves just like, well, even if I roll the four pluses, I can't hardly move anyway. So yeah, it is great when the but when the game gets bro broken down like this, humans are so much better. Like it's not easy for the dwarves. I did say in my defence, I did say it's not easy for the dwarves, but the default. The default uh, course of play is that they... Oh, he's just running in there for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, <laughs> you can see how much Hiru thinks he's got a chance there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's playing to the crowd. I appreciate it. Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a showman. I would like to have seen that gone off, because I've never seen it work. No, neither have I. Ever? No. No. Because oh. nobody ever goes... No one's ever um, foolish enough to go and stand in it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Runbad has. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not surprising of all people. Yeah. <laughs> I think Runbad kept running into it to see if it went off. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Incredible by culture. I mean, it's not over yet, right? It's actually not over yet. Um... It could, this could go, yeah, coin flip, right? If, if, if the humans do something un, unwise, and then yeah. somehow all, all the dwarves do something un, unreal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we suddenly get a coin, coin flip, and Hero just goes through. Like, this could be double skulls. Quads. Yeah, yeah, not even quads, yeah, just, just double, double skulls. skulls. Yeah. Follow, follow, and follow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, like, this is doable, right? Yeah, it's in range. Six. Six. <laughs> so five, six, six, five, five, two, two. Two dice with tackle. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Easy street. Absolutely, completely achievable. Is there anything in that little middle pile over there that can just go and base the ball? No. No, it'd have to be chained out a one shot. Easy. Okay. And plus, they're all getting hit right now. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, th th this portion is completely blocked up. But I mean, that's the play. There's only one play, just literally directly. Yeah. Beeline for him. Mm -hmm. Roll all the dice. It worked against. Worked to me in the play playoff final. What's what's the uh, what's the odds on that? Um, mad, mad. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Can 18, I guess. So, so it's eighteen percent of eighteen percent. And then a third of that, and then a third of that, and then it gets a little bit more technical. <laughs> I'd say about one in four hundred. I don't know. It's it's bad. Okay. One, oh, and then then you've got a prime, so like yeah, one then. in eight hundred, maybe yeah. one in a thousand. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, n never gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the human did the humans just pass turn? No, yes, they did, because they just had a turn. Yeah. And then it's now going to be the, the dwarves. Okay, this is the, this is the big one. Yeah. The last yeah. play, ultimately. Yes, it is, like, yeah. Yeah, it has to be done. Because <laughs> the humans will just score on the next turn. <laughs> yep. A reminder you guys at home as well, after this matchup, we have the victor of this, which looks like Caltrip right now. Uh, we'll have a short turnaround before a game against Anarion, the last game of the day. Huge. Oh. And that's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it actually was slightly better right he could go in a diamond uh well, like a half diamond to get there but i had the two plus which uh, made me write it off but i shouldn't have <laughs> because the rest it was actually substantially easier so yeah but so let's see if he sets up in uh, an anti one turn because if he doesn't <laughs> it's still very 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 it's still very very hard but yeah a, 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 a boat at least oh geez yeah oh he's, he's saved a setup this is an anti one turn setup at least backline yeah at least backline and then it's it's almost no chance right yeah and a, and a spread los yeah spread los and backline is, is you know, should be enough i guess there's like a I guess actually the best defense is probably just set up in like uh, chevrons against a potential timeout. Yeah, probably is. And he's left them. He shouldn't leave them split. There's no there's no reason for leaving them split there, I think. Equally, it's probably still done. Yes, it probably is. But 
this is not a good right defence, and right is much more likely to be the way that he scores rather than the one turn. So, yeah. And not right, sorry, timeout. Time out, yeah. It's cheering fans. It's over. And it's over, yeah. Yep. And there she blows. Wow. I mean, 2 1, a. a I mean, get Cal Troop there, I, I guess we could say a very well managed overtime as well there. No, exactly. You know, the stall, I think, was the key there. I think chat approved. It was, a, it, was a, it was a gutsy play there, Andy. You didn't necessarily approve. But it did work out in the end. I think it worked, but my, did he... He wrote his luck, is what he did. It's, hey, it's a black dice. It's the name of the game. And sometimes you have to write luck. And other times you could just do the safe play and then defend for four turns. But who's to say what's right? I, 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 like, my, I like my idea of freeing the guard and then stalling. I, I, I thought that was the, the right way. I thought that was the right play. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. but uh, but his way still worked. Uh, he got pretty lucky, right? To, he, there was the two plus to two dice the ball, and after that, he would have been in a bit of trouble. He, he, you know, even if he hadn't been he'd knocked over. But uh, yeah, he, he he got it. You know, fair play to Cold. Amazing. He just keeps doing it, doesn't he? He does. I know. It's I mean, unstoppable. Hiru, our second player eliminated from the competition today. Uh, but yeah. I a moment to shout out to Hiro to a valiant effort in this competition that did un sublimely in the winner's bracket and it just didn't really work out in the lower bracket today. And he still walked away with what, five hundred pounds? Yeah, it's not, 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 not bad it's there not in like, the office. Yeah. yeah. I mean He's done all right, hasn't he's he? He's done fine. Oh, he's yeah. done fine. Yeah, you're wiping away the tears with fifty pound notes. <laughs> it's not exactly terrible, is it? <laughs> this is this is true. Uh, and uh, yeah, congr congratulations to Hiro to all of our competitors who are no longer in the competition, but for putting on a great show and doing so well in the competition too. But we're down to four players now, only four players. This next matchup as well, we're going to break it down a bit more later on, but Caltroop versus Anara. Before we go to a, a break shortly, Jimmy, uh, how excited are you for this this head-to-head -head here? I'm very excited, very excited. I think Inarian's been great, you know, playing this like you know, Black Hawks, they're like underdogs. We, we, pretty much all of us wrote them off, you know. And uh, I think Inarian's played them pretty great most of the time. And, uh, you know, got the most out of them. And it's going to be really interesting to see him versus Coldwick for sure. Yeah. I mean, this, this is going to be a, well, you know, a match as well where there's not much of a turnaround time. For Coldwick, he's literally just played an overtime match. He's, there's a, a short break. We talk about fatigue. Is it going to be a factor, do you think? I mean, I mean, coldwick has been in a lot of situations in the last couple of weekends where he's had to grind out a lot of games. Maybe, maybe he, this is not as big a deal for him as it may, it may be for others. I think it's a it's a tough ask, right? It, yeah. And Orion's just had the better part of three hours off. Probably, it, it's going to be a, a tough ask for him. I I hope he can play uh, to, to the best of his ability because I think that's the thing that if I was looking back on this and then I play badly because I'm tired, that's going to yeah irritate me for a while. So yeah. I hope he just takes a minute, takes a minute, go and get a drink. You know, however you want to make it, whatever, go and get the drink, chill out, and then um, then say you're ready, get a game. I know. And Aaron's had time to sit at home and watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Just just hang out, watch, <laughs> watch a couple of movies, and he's back into the mix here. But uh, it's all coming your way. It's all getting, coming your way here. Uh, let's have a look at the brackets, though, just so we can see exactly uh, how things stand uh, in our competition here, our season finals here for Blood Bowl 3. Uh, our lower bracket, first and foremost, uh, again, we move. You can see Anarion versus Caltroop is uh, your next matchup here after Artemis and Hiru knocked out the competition. Uh, one of those two players, our last game of today here on Super Saturday, is facing off tomorrow in our first matchup against Strider, who is waiting uh, in that lower bracket final. I mean, we got four players left in this. That 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 you know, Strider. It, it's going to be whatever happens now. You've got Diamed in the grand finals, Strider in the lower bracket for Caltrip and Anarion. Whatever happens, it is going to be a rocky road getting all the way to the to the actual grand finals championship uh, and to actually win this competition. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think S Strider is a tough ass to beat for anybody, right? Now in the left in the tournament, and then if you can beat Strider, you've then got to get through the the, yeah, the ultimate boss, which is now DM Lord. It's just like <laughs> I, I'm just thinking of like some dungeon RPG, and you've got double bosses at the end now <laughs> for Anarian or uh, or, uh, or Call Troop, and he's just this little soldier that's been walking around for so long. He's lost his way. He's tired. He's hungry. He just wants to go home. I know. It's double bosses, Jimmy. Double yeah. bosses. <laughs> it is double bosses. But Call Troop just beat lizards over and over again in the NAF in the NAF kickoff event. He beat yeah. three lizards to get the final. So, you know, he, he's got the magic formula. I don't know how he does it, but I wouldn't want to bet against him versus Strider. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to. <laughs> You're going to, aren't you? You're yeah, going to bet against him. Jimmy, fantastic. <laughs> uh, for you guys watching at home, though, uh, this has been superb so far. Of course, we have that next matchup coming your way in just a short while. Obviously, Cal Troop's just played a short break for him to kind of like refresh as well ahead of that, ahead of that matchup. We'll have about 20 minutes or so uh, for our break here. But uh, do make sure you come back 
back here for our very last game of the day. Where we're going to find out exactly which player will move on to tomorrow as well. Only three will be uh, in that uh, spectacular Sunday here on Blood Bowl 3 season finals. Do not miss it. We'll see you in a very short while. And uh, we're back for loads more action. Don't miss it. We'll see you in a bit.